Okay, Representative Nunnally, never, ever, ever is implemented. I mean, that's a commitment from the Speaker of the House. How far are you willing to go to make sure that this thing does not get implemented? Are you willing to participate in what would lead to a shutdown of the federal government to stop this monstrosity from going down the tracks? I think we, I agree with uh, Congressman Boehner. We need to do whatever's necessary to make sure this bill never goes into effect. It's the worst piece of legislation that has passed the Congress in over a century. And I think the American people overwhelmingly don't like it. They want it off the books, and we need to, to follow that leadership to make sure it's never implemented. Now, um, um, I'm blanking on his mind. He's going to be second in command. Eric Cantor. Eric Cantor, Eric Cantor yeah. Uh, he said, look, the people the other day he said the people aren't looking for a showdown. That's not what they want. We're going to try to keep the government from being shut down. But Senator Tom Colburn saying, look, I can find $350 billion tomorrow that need to be sliced from the federal budget. If the president is not willing to go along with those budget cuts, I am going to stop the debt ceiling from being increased. I'm willing to put that place in lockdown mode. Uh, Representative Cantor was sending a little bit of a softer note. Uh, I think the people sort of like what they're hearing from Tom Coburn. We want something done no matter what it takes. So let me ask you this. As a congressman, uh, uh, Congressman Nully, would you be willing uh, you, I think you just answered it with health care, but when it comes to fiscal policy, are you willing to participate in a shutdown of the federal government if that's the only way to get the president to come to the table? Yeah. You know, if the Republicans learned anything from the post-94 election, it, it's what we said earlier. The people of America do not want us to go to Washington and start acting like the Democrats we replaced. Uh, m maybe the people that had that strategy uh, a decade ago – we're under the belief, okay, we come to the middle, we, the Republicans take two steps to the left, and the Democrats will stay there and we can reach some kind of agreement. But what actually happened, the Republicans took two steps to the left and started acting like Democrats. And when they did that, the Democrats took three steps to the left and started acting like socialists. And the American people said, no more. We want you to go and hold true to your conservative values. 